This video will introduce you to iLabs Insights. iLabs Insights allows brick and mortar businesses to combine footfall and location intelligence data from multiple sensors into a single unified dashboard. This enables businesses to understand location and behavioral analytics using any combination of Wi Fi sensors, smart cameras, ticketing and boarding pass scanners, door counters, point of sale systems, or any other people counter hardware. Insights can leverage existing infrastructure hardware on the premises to get started without any upfront investment or lengthy deployment process. Leveraging data from these sensors provides a more complete 360 degree view of visitors. Here's how it works. This venue is equipped with a door counter, ticket scanner, smart camera, and Wi-Fi access points. A guest with a Wi-Fi enabled device like a mobile phone walks into the space. Traditional door counters count their entrance to the lobby. Guest services use a ticket scanner to log the guest's entrance into the venue. A smart camera counts the entrance to a specific zone or area. Smart cameras and other counters like these provide the number of visitors who entered the space. These counters, however, do not provide dwell time and will count them again if they enter more than once. That means the same person could enter a zone two times or more and be counted each time. The Wi-Fi solution, however, provides behavioral data for the end-to-end -end journey to complement cameras and counters. These access points triangulate visitor behavior within each zone, area, and the entire venue. Wi-Fi enables persistent identity data for each visitor as to how many entered multiple times, their dwell times, paths, and affinity between different zones and areas. All of this data is combined to be viewed in a single unified dashboard. The iLabs platform pulls data from multiple sensors and, through the use of artificial intelligence and machine learning, is brought together to give a complete picture of visitor footfall, behavioral analytics, and insights. Using a visual floor plan mapper, it's simple to create zones and areas within a location. Using a drag and drop system, easily denote where your sensors like Wi-Fi access points, smart cameras, and door counters are on the floor plan. By segmenting zones and visualizing data in this way, you can easily view and keep track of key zones and bottlenecks such as queue wait, checkout times, and entrance counting, as well as view footfall on real-time heat maps. Slice and dice footfall, dwell, queue, checkout times, and other behavioral information in a variety of ways to produce granular insights. These insights can be visualized in multiple ways to give businesses key insights into how visitors behave in a space. Or, combine data from multiple locations and get an overall view of every single site together, complete with historical data. Smart and thermal cameras, door counters, boarding pass scanners, and ticketing scanners collect point-in-time information, that is, data happening in real time. Cameras or other people counters cannot collect how many times a single person returns to a space, their dwell time, cross-space affinity, or other behavioral information. In short, you can count how many people entered the space, but not how many of that count are people who return to that space, how long they stayed, or where a majority of them went next. Ticketing and boarding pass scanners, similarly, provide a high fidelity of data, but can only be deployed at entrances or boarding gates. Wi-Fi access points can be used for visitor persistent identity. From the moment they enter the premises until they leave, a business can triangulate mobile devices within the space to understand the complete customer journey. This persistent identity can also be tracked over long periods of time, revealing return customers to a property. These access points provide overall footfall and behavioral patterns of visitors with Wi-Fi enabled mobile devices and phones. All data is displayed as an aggregate and is not collected at the per person level, showing percentages of how many devices are detected. Using this aggregated anonymous data protects the customer's right to privacy and helps meet privacy laws around the world. This data visualizes first-time versus repeat visitors, customer loyalty, dwell times, walking paths, real-time heat maps, and the complete conversion funnel. Here are some use cases for how all of these sensors work together.
By using smart cameras and Wi-Fi sensors together, a shopping center can keep track of specific zones, such as a food court, and get key understandings of the visitor journey. First, smart cameras were used to count the number of visitors entering the food court. These cameras counted 621 people entering the food court between noon and 1 p.m. However, cameras cannot differentiate between who is having lunch and who is just passing through the food court. This is combined with Wi-Fi, which analyzes visitor behavior in the food court. From noon to 1 p.m., the average dwell time of visitors in the food court was 37.5 minutes. 462 visitors spent 5 minutes or less in the space, meaning they did not stay to have a meal in the food court. Of the 621 visitors counted by the cameras, Wi-Fi detected 75 people pass through more than once. This shows that 12% of visitors returned to the space. Wi-Fi also detects that many food court visitors also had a high affinity for shopping at nearby sports retailers. This provides enough insights for the shopping center to consider showing advertisements for sporting goods on digital display ads in the food court. At an attraction like an aquarium, a business can combine ticketing scanners and Wi-Fi to get a better sense of how visitors move through their space. The ticket scanning system tallies 3,642 visitors entering the aquarium. Using Wi-Fi, the aquarium learns that the shark tank had the highest dwell time of 13.8 minutes. Wi-Fi also detects that the jellyfish and shark exhibits were the most popular and had a high affinity with each other. However, over the long term, Wi-Fi detects that those who spent more time with the jellyfish also had a higher dwell time in the turtles exhibit. This can be useful for the gift shop to rearrange merchandise by placing merch for turtles and jellyfish next to each other. Using persistent identity, it is revealed that 33% of visitors returned to the aquarium. This can be tracked over the history of the site and operators can see if the trend remains the same, increases, or decreases over the long term. At an airport, understanding the passenger journey from curb to gate and gate to curb is incredibly important. By optimizing operations, an airport can increase their revenue. Door counters tally 102,609 visitors entering the airport through the front doors. Leveraging smart cameras, 120,823 arriving and departing visitors were counted. Meanwhile, boarding pass scanners counted 58,197 passengers departing that day. Wi-Fi access points are used to detect the persistent identity to show the passenger journey from curb to gate or from gate to curb. Using these sensors together, there are a number of ways to increase revenue throughout the airport. One way is by decreasing wait times. Insights detects that first-time visitors spend 12 minutes at the self-serve check-in, while returning flyers spend only 6 minutes. Over at security, arrival curves are calculated based on historical data. Euro airline passengers typically show up 2 hours before a flight, while Asia Airlines passengers show up 3 hours before a flight. There is a Euro Airlines flight scheduled for 3 p.m. and an Asia Airlines flight scheduled for 4 p.m., meaning passengers for both flights will more than likely show up at the same time to security. Predictive AI analyzes staff metrics and indicates increasing staff at both of these bottlenecks will reduce wait times by 11.5 minutes. So more staff are on hand at self-serve check-ins to help first-time visitors, and more security staff at 1 p.m. to deal with the departing passengers from both Asia and Euro airlines. This operational efficiency means that departing passengers spend 11.5 minutes less waiting at security, which increases dwell time at duty-free by 11.5 minutes, boosting airport revenue there by $1.5 million per year. Another way of increasing revenue is by analyzing and optimizing which airlines depart from which gates. Gate B is closer to the duty-free shop, and visitors departing from that gate typically spend 34% more time than passengers from gate A. Revenue from point-of-sale systems cross-checked against destinations reveal Asia-bound passengers spend 16.7 times more than other destinations. In light of these insights, the airport optimizes departures to Asia to use gate B, which in turn increases sales at the duty-free.
iLabs Insights integrates with people counters of all brands and types of counters such as smart and thermal cameras, door counters, ticketing and boarding pass scanners, point-of-sale systems, automatic metal detectors, and many more sensors. Wi-Fi access point hardware brands integrate with iLabs platforms as well. This allows businesses to leverage their existing infrastructure and get started quickly. iLabs Insights can be leveraged with our marketing and customer data platform designed for brick and mortar to unify all customer data. Providing the most advanced digital marketing platform for brick and mortars in the market, iLabs allows businesses to use guest Wi-Fi opt-ins to receive contact, demographic, and psychographic data from customers and visitors. Some smart cameras also have the ability to gather demographic data, which also integrates with the iLab solution. If you'd like to learn more about how Insights can help your brick and mortar business, feel free to send an email or give us a call at iLabs. Thank you for watching this video.